welcome, welcome. Today we're going to play a little bit more Kaiserreich, and we're going to be playing as two Sicilies, the only Italian nation we so far have not played. We played the Italian Republic, we played the SRI, we played as the Pope. I guess now we even played as Sardinia, but Sardinia doesn't matter. Who cares about Sardinia? We're going to play two Sicilies. And our goal, of course, is to unite all of Italy. I think I think that seems like a, uh, a reasonable goal for us. Let's get these ten guys ready to go. We'll uh, sign up for new field marshal. This is the first campaign uh, that we're starting fresh. I didn't say Rice Kaiser, did I? Anyways, this first campaign we're starting from the beginning with our new CPU. So we'll see if they, we can actually get through things pretty quickly. We got war with the SRI. Can I declare war or do I have to wait for... Do I have to wait for the SRI to make the first move? I don't know if I can actually be the aggressor. Beer Wars the Socialist Republic. I guess maybe, like, maybe I can't actually just, uh, maybe I can't actually attack them. Anyways, we're going to start off with, we have a bonus industry. We have bonus to armor or infantry. How much your CPU cost? is like 400 bucks. Go $400. Declare the Italian Empire. Oh, no, we can't because we can attack the Socialists. We need to be fully in the planet. That's fully going to be the focus, planning the Grand Offensive and Messi's Reform Plan. Okay, I mean, where are those in here? Take the fight to them. I mean, probably it's... I do want to take the fight to them. We want to be as aggressive as possible. Yeah, plan the grand offensive. Is it one or is it both? Complete plan the grand offensive. So we can only attack the SRI if we actually plan the grand offensive. So you know what? Screw this. Let, let's go for the armed forces first. Take the fight to them. Plan the Grand Offensive, and then we also need the Reform. And the messy Reforms are... Shipyard. Which one is it? Wait, let me just double check. The Reform Plan. Reform. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we gotta do... Plan the Grand Offensive. And then we get the this focus. Yeah, I mean, that actually shouldn't take too long. We can probably get it done within like a year. And typically, I think we just want to go to war with the SRI as soon as humanly possible. Train up our army as much as we can. And just attack. Because if we wait for them to attack us, we it, can, it has the potential to get dragged into a larger conflict. The Second Field Creek. But if we can kill them fast enough, that the SRI doesn't even join the Internationale. Then, then, we, then we're starting somewhere. Then, then we got something to work with. Um, Well, we'll go with... Oh, we already have some of our basic tech done. So we'll go with better research. Let's go with first the cap and construction speed. Our cap is 16 divisions. So, of course, we want to get those 16 divisions up right away. Let's go with, like, two of you. Let's get... Let's go four and two. Just one and one of each. I'm assuming we're not making any light tanks and motorized. Uh, fantastic. We go some light tank, get some motorized in here as well. Our industry suck. We are currently 416, which is uh, really bad. Okay, let's get construction down here. I mean, we technically also have the Pope. You know, he is a puppet of ours as well. The legacy of the Civil War. Following the Napoleonic Wars, the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies was created, combining the old kingdoms of Naples and Sicily. It was lasted until 1860, when Sardinia Piedmont, aided by Garibaldi's partisans, united Italy under her rule. The South, which is always generally agricultural, suffered at the hands of the uh, Savoyards, who did not care much for the industrialization in the South, and the poverty became commonplace. When the Wheel Decree came, Italy eventually chose the side of the Entente, much to her ruin. The Austrians signed the armistice in 1919, in which they were allowed to occupy Lombardy and Venetia until the peace treaty was signed. However, outraged nationalists, republicans, and socialists rose up against the government for their foolhardy actions in the starting a war they were doomed to lose. And when King Victor Emmanuel and his son advocated, the King of Italy collapsed into anarchy. The war soon convulsed on the peninsula, and hope seemed lost for the white forces in the south of Italy until the Austrians rejoined the war. In exchange for their southern participation in a new political system, the Italian Federation, the Austrians pushed back the Syndicalists from Lombardy. The Syndicalists pressured pressure on the Abruzzo line was removed. Following the ceasefire, the, the South joined the Italian Federation as the King of Two Sicilies. 
but it was always with the understanding that only with the promise of Austrian aid kept the Federation intact. When the Sinclair's threats in the, threatened the South in 1927, Austria's promise of protection vanished. And while the war never materialized, the worth of the Federation was revealed to Sicily as the Papal State of Slovenia withdrew, leaving Austria's only place of influence in the Republic in the North. So apparently, apparently this all could have been part of the Italian Republic, but Austria uh, is, is being stinked. The Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. Since the end of hostilities, the Kingdom has been mostly focused on internal. Uh, it's been focused internally. The Christian Democrats in power since 1920 been trying to uh, pursue the age-old dream of land reform in the South. The lack of progress on this front, however, caused the Christian Democrats majority to fall in 1927. Uh, though a Democratic coalition was kept in power since, it has made a small movement towards land reform in Campania and Capua. The rise of the opposition in Trelegulis Doge Sicily could signal a radical change in the Kingdom's politics. Only time will tell if they are able to achieve their reactionary aims or if democracy will prepare, uh, prevail. Um, what's our plan? I don't know. I mean, do we want to become, do we want to stay democratic or do we want to go for the organic kingdom if we go for the national populist route? The war support, political power, stability. Stability, stability. Christian trade union is pretty good. Growth in cap goes up by 15%. More national populism support, research slot. Power gain. It kind of seems like the organic kingdom is actually slightly worse than just staying as a constitutional uh, kingdom. I mean, this is pretty good. Mediterranean breadbacks is pretty good. So yeah, I think we'll probably go with the constitutional kingdom. And then second, uh, reconquest. I'm pretty sure not. I'm not know how you say that in uh. Riz Orgmentio. As the, for the future of Italy, questions have slowly risen regarding our place in the coming conflict. Peace on the peninsula is held by a delicate balance. If the cynically strike, they must do so without drawing the Third International into battle with them. Should they do so, both Germany and Austria will feel compelled to intervene. They will not, however, feel so compelled if two Sicily strikes first. So it is on the so Socialist Republic of Italy to make the first move towards the second Riz. To the second Rigomentio, and they will do so without French backing. We must be careful to watch the Abrizio line uh, to see if they will become so bold. I mean, if I attack them first. If I attack them first, will they will they join the Internationale? I mean, potentially, right? Like, it seems like that might happen. Move our forces up north. We clear war. We get claims, attempts of war support. The Social Republic of Italy will not be able to join a third international, though it can receive volunteers and other limited support from them, right? The balance is not upset by another major power intervening in the region. Okay, so the international won't join the war if we go to war, which is nice. Join the Entente. I mean, there's no reason to join any of these factions. We can only do that anyways once the second victory actually begins. But I think I want to just kill the SRI as soon as humanly possible. How many, how many boats do they got? 32 to 71, they've got a handful of aircraft. We have no aircraft and 51 ship. Okay. Yeah, so prepare naval invasion sea. Maybe we actually just want to like naval invade towards Genoa. And I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't mind if the Italian Republic decides to intervene in the war as well. You know, once it actually begins. And let's see, let's take a look at our equipment as well. Like, how are we actually doing equipment-wise? We're missing 3.7 thousand rifles that'll be done in about a year. Our will be done in about a month. And motorized and, and, and tanks, we're not making any of them right now at all. Black Monday has hit the kingdom. The economic crisis that began in Germany has sprouted out of control and has spread to Italy. The Kingdom of Sicily's prosperity has been shattered by Black Monday and confidence in the government has been shaken. Very cool. We love to see it. So we got about 20 days until you're done. Do we have... How do we get rid of Black Monday? Rarian question, industrial improvements. Russian Republic said... Who would you be declaring war on right now? Oh, on the uh, their war on the socialists. Okay, so the Russian civil war has broken out. Black Monday. Is this all you need to do? 
The Wars of Black Monday is over. Okay. Okay, the Second Russian Civil War has begun. Usually, the Socialists will end up winning that war. And we'll see if Transmere actually wants to kind of intervene as well. Because I believe they can intervene when Russia has their civil war. You see, Finland took some territory. Uh, Donkman Union and Alash Orda might also try to intervene and take some land. I'm not... I mean, sometimes they attack. Sometimes they don't. It really depends. But we'll see how it goes for them. Of course, we... I mean, do we want... Who do we want to win that war? The Russian Republic or Socialist? Typically, if the Socialists win... They join the Third International, and that kind of screws up with the AI a little bit, because France and Britain will send troops over towards the Russian front, which can actually make the French front weaker. So, it's a little hard to say. I mean, either way, we'll be at war with the Russians if we end up joining the Reich's Pact. We could you end up with the Entente, but they're usually, uh, worse. <laughs> Let's take the front fight to them. Got yeah, non-aggression pack with all the um, international factions. Nobody's really surprised. The Lash Order, the third war in Russia. I mean, do they get claims? Because... I guess they do have some claims actually up here. Why would you back the socialist? The only reason we can back the socialist is because... Sometimes the international overcommits on the Russian border and leaves France exposed. That can happen. And if that happens, it's going to be good for us. I mean, either way, a lot of Russian troops are going to die in this war. So, if anything, if we can... If we can have the the Civil War in Russia just kind of last forever, that, I guess, would be the best case scenario, is if this just never ends. We want it to last as long as possible, basically. Anyway, poverty and crime rates. With Black Monday hitting our kingdom hard, poverty is skyrocketed and living standards and for many Sicilians have plunged. At the same time, the various criminal cartels and, and mafiosos moved in to take advantage of the situation, much to the detriment of the government. Bigotry and bigotry and brigandry has increased in the countryside, and many are demanding that the government do something. Okay, so maybe, maybe just invading the SRI super early on maybe isn't the best situation. Also, thank you for the follow. Usually the Donk Cuban Union, I believe, also will attack at some point as well. It kind of depends. I mean, they can maybe, like, try to take, like, some of these border regions. First International Congress. It depends. Like, how many men have died so far in this war? That, that's the big question. Uh, not a lot. Only about 28,000 Russians have died, which is nowhere near the amount that we want to, uh, to die. We, we want the deaths to be in the tens or at least maybe even the hundreds of thousands. Hello, Tommy G. We want the war to be bloody. Are you getting any volunteers? Getting volunteers from Germany, France, Finland... And from the Canadians. You're getting volunteers, of course, from the... Everyone else. The Kamadnir. The rise of crime in the country due to Black Monday, the Miliazzo Volunteer Per Las Grosi Nationale has been formed. The MVSN, or as they informally call, the Kamadnir, for their black shirts, have been propping up throughout the kingdom, from Naples to Copalamario. Supposedly led by... Um, Achille Strasse. Definitely pushing every single name here. Um, from Naples, anyway, um, the military organization described as having a muscle behind the internals in the kingdom, for they have been, for they have been keeping watch during their rallies, as well as disrupting breaking rallies for the left. Their disciplined militaristic marches through the streets of major cities draw large crowds and draw up more recruits, especially amongst the youth. Here and there is rapidly becoming a force to be reckoned with, and their numbers are still expanding. It's unlikely they'll stay silent during the election. Can you do a, uh, a big Poland run in Kaiserreich? We played as um, Poland-Lithuania. 
Um, I don't remember when we played Poland Lithuania. It's been, it was sometime recently. But I don't exactly remember when that was. The Pope has one unit. We, of course, would like more troops there, but I don't know if we're going to actually get them from the Pope. And if we can get, let's say, a naval invasion, land in Genoa, and then kind of take over this area here. Because we have a port. We have one port here. But if we can, like, capture Genoa, move our way here, separate Piedmont from the rest of Italy, we can maybe, uh... Make some bad things happen for the SRI. Getting, like, how many men do you guys have? 8 to 25. It's a very big range. I don't know exactly what the number is. And we have two military factories. Or we have two civilian factories. To be done in about two years, which is excellent. Planning people is 20%. I mean, like, I want to attack as soon as possible. Vision time, 10%. Organization by 5%. Armor experience goes up. Motorized. Bonus for support artillery. I think you can, you can unite with Galicia if you join up with the Austrian faction. Then I believe you can... Uh... Okay, let, let's see what Black Monday at least a little, little bit. If you join up with Austria, I believe you can annex Galicia, Lord Emilia. So, at most, the Russian Republic has 28 division. At the very least, the Socialists have 55. So, I, I feel like that's not a very uh, fair war. And, of course, the Lash Order also is coming in here with, you know, 10 divisions-ish. Yeah, let's get Concentrate Industry 1. Yeah, so the Russian Republic is dead as hell. I'm surprised Transmir doesn't want to... Can they not intervene? I don't know when you can intervene in the war. And at some point, Sumo will probably play as uh, Transmir. I'm not too sure when that will be. We got an election coming up in May of next year. It's like one more year from now, roughly. And when, like the AI. The thing with the AI is the AI doesn't rush the reconquest cost his bellies. So... I believe we probably have a decent amount of time before they attack us. We got one more infantry. We'd love to see it. I'm going to request your only division, Pope. And deploy him into the front lines as well. Something like this. Still missing a lot of guns. I mean, our, our industry is in the absolute crapper. But, I mean, that's kind of just what happens when you have Black Monday, right? Like, what what can you do? What can you do? Black Monday is a pain in the ass. What if the Elijah Order actually ends up losing against the Russians? That'd be kind of funny. Okay, the Baltic Duchy has collapsed. Will, you're social democratic, you might end up going cyniclist, I'm not too, too sure. And you're with the Internationale. Estonia's probably not going to end up doing anything. And we want the Reichspact to be strong. We don't, we don't want a weak Reichspact. Because I feel like a lot of our campaigns recently have not gone the way we want them to go. A lot of our campaigns recently have not had that overarching success. Which is a real shame, for sure. Okay, let's do some industrial investments. We are missing a little bit of tungsten, a little bit of chromium, but that's completely okay. We're making aluminum, we're making steel. And we, we will need a lot of oil when the Navy is uh, out and about. But I think we're okay waiting on that for at least a little bit. Okay, good taunts I am. Looks like you guys have just gone for the Cyniclist. I think everybody's just gone... Actually, no, you haven't had your election yet, I believe. Actually, no, maybe you have actually had your election. 
I think everybody's just going Orthodox in Eclipse. Nothing too, too crazy there. But other than that, Reconciliation with Canada. The Liberal Coalition. Since the failing of the King of Two Sicilies, parliamentary power has been contested primarily by the social conservatives and the social liberals. However, with the rise of the far right and the creation of the interlaced paramilitary force, the Party Liberal and the Party Popular Democratico have agreed to a form a coalition. This liberal pact is dedicated to preserving and strengthening liberal values within the kingdom. The creation of this alliance, however, weakens the social conservative party. Uh, for in the past, the Party Liberal tended to support the Party, party Democratico Cristiano. For the Liberals, though, there is hope that a new coalition will create a torch of liberalism strong in the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's get um, some more support here. Because, again, I, I think we want to go for the Democratic uh, Two Sicilies. We don't want to go National Populist. But I think their tree is just slightly worse. And we need a big end up. We need like a lot of industry. Also, Iran's going socialist as well. Uh, we need a lot of. We need good industry uh, bonuses. So their industry in two Sicilies very small. Fighting between the left and the right, a rally of Confederacio Generalista Silicio de Livorno, or the Sicilian General Confederation of Labor, for the ruling party of Democrado Cristiano, was disrupted when members of the Semonere disrupted a rally. Disruption quickly turned into a bloody battle, left quite a few injured, and even worse, a few fatalities on both sides. While the CGSL has forsworn cynicism, the Simonera has been lately crying in their members as agents for the Social Republic in the North. Now the outcome of the particular case must be decided. Are these members innocent? Or the words of Kimonera's hold merit and truth? Many conservatives are siding with Kimonera, claiming that they are traitors to the kingdom, but some of the liberals claim they are innocent. Okay, well, let's just go for the union members are innocent. Because, again, we don't want to go national populist. Okay, we got mechanized computers. Follow you up with a little bit of re or reinforcement rate. And, again, we, we don't really care about this stuff right now. I, th I think we're good on that. Okay. Leave one of you. Actually, we're, right now we're at... We can deploy four more. Yeah, so we'll keep these guys up here for now. The tanks... I'm hoping at some point we'll be able to actually produce some tanks. But I, I don't know exactly when that will be. Also, produce some aircraft would also be nice. Okay, Flanders to join the Reich's pack. Wallonia... No, yeah, Wallonia's in the Reich's pack. We'll, we'll see if uh, Flanders will also join. No, they're a puppet of the Dutch. Okay, there we go. The Dutch are in the Reich's pack as well. So that's actually very similar to what we did for our, our Netherlands campaign. Back whenever that was. 